making dollar store chicken savoy tablespoon of oregano tablespoon of thyme Tablespoon of dollar store black pepper. It's not really dollar store, but it's the fine. Everybody's fresh cracked pepper. Um, would, technically, what I just put in there is dollar store brand. You know, it's the last of the last. It's not the coarse. And then a tablespoon of Mrs. Dash to give it a little something, something extra. Let's clean that off. All right, now we go for the garlic. When making chicken zavoy, one rule of thumb, you can never have too much garlic. I'm not using a fresh, because I planned on making a lot of stuff with garlic, so I bought the store brand. But this is the Kirkland version, so I assumed it was halfway decent. Always want to drain it. Alright, three. Actually, we're going to go for four on this one. Can never have too much garlic. Alright. Hating me because I'm using minced California garlic, garlic, water, citric acid. Hmm. Oh well, I believe they blanch it though. Take off a little bit of that garlic edge. All right, now it's time to add <clears throat> red wine vinegar. This is uh, in the recipe. That's a joke. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Where's the knife? Let's try our new knives. There we go. Slow version, quick version. Same thing with this one. Oh. Dollar store vinegars. Even about an inch and a half to the top. Mm, let's put a little more. I'll do half the bottle. So I'm using roughly six ounces of balsamic and six ounces of red. What does it say? Red wine vinegar. Put the top on. Quick shake. And there you go. Dollar Store Chicken Savoy. <clears throat> Stretch would be rolling over in his grave right now.